Melinda was the fast, advanced one. Oh, come on. All the men were crazy for her. They were drawn to her, her unpredictability. No, Laurel was a star of our group. I remember when you married Lee. Oh, everyone was so jealous. He was the most attractive, most charismatic actor. Oh, God. You almost broke Cassie's heart. Not that she'd ever admit it. <laughs> oh, oh, forgive me. Am I sharing too much? It's just I feel so good. What is this? It's a hope, Brian. <sighs> My head is to my mind. But it feels good. You were the first one in our group to sleep with a man. You were so sophisticated. I admired it. I did. Well, it's probably true. I had a deep hunger for physical intimacy. A hunger that could not be denied. Well, not once adolescence descended on the hormones kicked in. <laughs> Melinda had a reputation for being postmodern in bed. <laughs> Oh, well, life is short. <clears throat> I made that sobering discovery when my mother killed herself. It's short and it's not about anything except what you can touch and what touches you. Whereas I, I've only made love to one man in my life. Lee was the first and Lee was the whole story ever since. That's perfect. No, I mean it. I think there's something mystical about two people who only know each other. And really, you're both very alike. You're both very, very passionate women. You're poured into the same person and you've wanted to live out different experiences. Mm, is that you? No. Oh, oh, it's me. Oh. It's Peter. I think he's got some news about my children. Would you, would you just excuse me? Go ahead. You know, I was determined not to ask you what you saw when you looked straight through to my soul when we met. But I want to know. Something very clouded and protective with lots of longing. There was, wow, there was great longing in the notes you played. That's as accurate a diagnosis as a shrink would make. It took you a much shorter time. You sat down and pressed the keyboard and I thought, who is this lovely creature with the melancholy touch? And I saw the wedding ring and I thought, you know, Story of my life. Is that the story of your life? Well, it's the main chapters. My first impression was... He's handsome. He's lost. He's got inscrutable eyes. Melinda would like him. Speaking of Melinda. <laughs> I don't dare say this, but it sounds, it sounds hopeful. <clears throat> oh God, I almost wish this opportunity hadn't come up. What if, what if I can take the tension? <laughs> just, just say it doesn't work out. It will. You have to think positively. She's right. You were correct when you said that life is short and not about anything. But if there's one thing that I do know, is that we were not put on this earth to be dragged all the time. We should go. I was hoping you could come by my class one afternoon and lecture the students. It would be so meaningful to them. I'd love to. I'm a great lecturer. I just hope I'm not a better lecturer than a composer. 